Hey guys, it's Trina. I actually got a request. Um, pretty easy request. They wanted me to do a live too, so I'm doing a live one. Um, it's gonna be kind of hard because I haven't done a live too in a long, ever, actually, ever. So y'all know how I am with ten minutes and two lives. So thanks for challenging me. It's okay though. It's okay. Um. If y'all are wondering why I've had a lot of time to do these videos, it's because I'm on vacation this week. Yes, sir. Um, actually, I'm starting a new job Monday because that job is so stressful and it's so... Ugh, I had to find another one. And usually when I set my mind out to do something, I try to do it. So, I found me a job in three days. <laughs> start that job Monday. My, my last day at that job was on um, this past Friday. So I'm taking time to myself this week, which is fine for me. Um, I've already primed my eyes right now. I'm putting on NYX Milk up to my brow. No, I've not cut my hair. <laughs> I just haven't combed it out yet. It's just pinned up in the back. Uh, my allergies are kicking my ass. Not really allergies, but it's kind of like my nose knows it's springtime. So, it's just naturally running around this time because it's not like it's any pollen around here. So, you know, whatever. Um... Um, I'm going to do something I've never done before. First, let me grab my mixing medium that's in a hotel shampoo bottle on my bag conditioner. Um, mixing medium is just glycerin and water. One part glycerin, three parts water. You get glycerin anywhere, CVS, Rite Aid, Walgreens, I'm pretty sure Walmart has it. And um, mixing medium just kind of gives your shadows that help with the color so that the true color can come out. Basically what I do, I just put it on my hand and then I dab my brush in it so that I won't put too much on there because if it's too wet you're going to mess up your shadows. Duh. But I'm going to take this can't really see it, but it's kind of like a peachy color for my Caucasian folks. It would be a nude color for you, so just find a nice peachy nude color. And I'm gonna use that on my inner. My face. I need to do a mask, like ASAP. And then what I'm gonna do is just kind of brush that brush off and use the same brush. I'm going to show y'all my easel later. Yes, I have an easel. Not the type of easel you may think it is, but I have an easel. <laughs> I'm going to take this pretty bold purple. I think I've used this purple before. It looks like it. Whatever. My brush is a little too wet, but it's okay. It's okay. And then I'm going to just put that on the rest of my lid. You can't really tell because the lighting sucks ass, but yeah. I went about a third of the way with the nude color. And now I'm just going over that with the purple all the way to the rest of my lid. I love Steve. He can be my baby daddy one day. He's cute. Now, okay. Now what I'm just going to do is take my crease brush, if I can find it, and I'm going to take this. This can you see it? This um kind of charcoalish color. 
This is a fresh color. It won't even pick up. Come on now. There we go. So yeah, I think I'm going to have to cut into this a little bit. But it's okay. And then I'm just going to take that on my outer. And then I'm going to put that into my crease. I'll have to go back over that purple, but it's okay. It's okay. It's all right. Mm -mm. And just work in the crease. I'm surprised somebody even cared to ask me to do a live tutorial. <laughs> Not like I'm that interesting, but you know. I'm just doing the same thing with the other side. I get my mirror back because I'm so discombobulated as far as hand eye coordination. You know, when I was in school, I had sucky ass hand eye coordination. Like, seriously. Like, I think they used to test us on it. Yo, this eye looks fierce, 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 sir. <laughs> then this eye. I don't like how that looks. Don't y'all? That's kind of hot. Wait a minute, I'm about to. I'm gonna be right back, YouTube. I'm about to work a little something out. Hold on, hold on. All right, hey guys, I'm back. Um, I just wanted to simulate on this eye what I accidentally did on this eye, which is actually to me very very like different for me <laughs> so um what i just did was just you know redid this eye a little bit i didn't take my makeup off i just did, redid like my inner corner and then i cleaned up right here cleaned that up for you know where i put the milk so that i can put my highlight on um i'm just going to use my trusty trusty highlight that's pretty much almost gone that I need to get more of like ASAP but for now I will be using it until the last chrome is gone okay if anyone wants to donate some highlight for me please do so otherwise I will be on the search for a good highlight but anyway I'm just gonna put that on neutral highlight <sighs> and to tell myself why I was going for a, new, a neutral look today Ha! Like that was going to happen. Did I just do that without stumbling? What? Alright. But no. Um, that's just my highlight. And then I, what I'm going to do, because I know this video is a little long, so I'm going to have to cut through it a little bit. I'm going to fix my eyebrows, line my eyes, black eyeliner. Okay, I'm back. So, um, I lined my eyes. I did not do my eyebrows from what I can see now. <laughs> what I'm doing now is just putting a little bit of very fresh. There we go. Um, purple shadow just to go with the first of my eyes on my lips then I'm done going over that with a clear gloss uh, anyway um basically what we did was a peach color on the inside purple on the rest of the lid and then a charcoal black in the crease um we brought the crease down towards the tear duct area um i didn't wing it out as much as i would have liked to but hey whatever line my eyes with the same black that we used in the crease and then just a just a touch of purple on in a corner um i lined my lips with uh, one of my old avon duels that I need to get more of because I obviously have lost a top two one end of it and 
um, I used this purple shadow here. You can't really see it, but it's kind of like a it's kind of like a periwinkle color. And I put that on my lips, and then I went over that with a clear gloss. So thanks to the person who requested that I do a live toot. Hope you guys enjoyed the spur of the moment look that I did. I had no idea it was going to turn out like this. <laughs> but I will take pictures. They will be at the end. Love y'all.